Hello. Originally, I was planning to make this video just for my Patreons, as I usually do every Sunday and Friday, for those who donate 5 to 10 bucks every month as a gratitude for their support. But this is such an important issue that I just have to release it to everybody. This is breaking news about another privacy and security nightmare from Google Photos, where a bug would send your private videos to strangers that requested their Google data through the export feature on Google Takeout. This information started circulating on Reddit when people started uploading their emails that they received fr from Google. And I will read this email, email to you, but I also searched for this on news, and it is confirmed on Ars Technica and many other outlets. Google has exported your private files to, to, to total strangers, and the privacy of the data might be incredibly compromised. So let's read this email. Hello, we are writing to inform you of a technical issue that affected the Google Download Your Data service for Google Photos between November 21st, 2019 and November 25th, 2019, when it was fixed. Between November 21st and 25th, our records show you requested a Google Download Your Data export which included Google Photos content. Unfortunately, during this time, some videos in Google Photos were incorrectly exported to unrelated users' archives. One or more videos in your Google Photos account was affected by this issue. If you downloaded your data, it may be incomplete and it may contain videos that are not yours. The, underli the underlying issue has been identified and resolved. We recommend you perform another export of your content and delete your prior export at this time. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. For further assistance, contact Google Support. Please ensure you are signed in to the correct account when contacting support. The tone of this email is incomprehensible. It is absolutely staggering that this happened and they are not even apologizing and they are not even raising this as a serious privacy and security issues. In the email, they are saying that this affected only videos uploaded to Google Photos, which is strange. They are not giving any technical specifications why they think it's only videos. It's, it's very possible that many other pieces of content, such as your photos, could have been uploaded to other people's exports. And uh, of course, people are going to be freaking out about their news, but this is not just that kind of content. This is also people uploading their serious private documents, official government documentation, IDs, passports, uh, so social security documentation, anything like that that can be used for identity theft. So even if it is just videos that have been compromised, it's still a serious privacy and security issue that should have never happened with a service this big. If you're using Google Photos or Google Drive or any of this stuff, you should probably stop using them as soon as possible because there is no guarantee that this will not happen in the future. Now, in the Ars Technica article, Google says that only 0.01% of photos users attempting takeouts were affected, which is very strange language because if people that, are, that were directly affected were only those that requested a takeout feature, then what about people that did not request the takeout feature, but their uh, data was, was still exported to other people's accounts? Now they are not saying anything about that, and I think that there needs to be a serious investigation into this. You have no way to check if you were affected unless you requested a takeout during this four-day window. But if, in, but if you didn't and somebody else has your, your data, Google is not notifying you and they are not even saying if they are going to do that. So there could be many more people affected. It could be hundreds of thousands of even, or even millions of people affected. And if you think that your data could have been compromised or could have been leaked to other strangers, there is nothing you can do about it now. But you can prevent that in the future by simply, by simply not using Google services anymore or encrypting the data before you upload it to the service yourself. The only privacy-respecting cloud service that I would recommend would be Nextcloud. Now, Nextcloud is mostly a paid service, but you can get up to two or five gigabytes of data for free and you can choose your, your own provider. So it can be a company that is in a privacy-respecting jurisdiction, such as Switzerland or Germany or somewhere in Europe. And um, you can even have multiple accounts and you can have them signed in at the same time with a single application that Nextcloud provides as a free and open source software for both, I think, Android and and, and iPhones and they work on Linux and uh, all uh, Windows, Mac OS, all operating systems. It's a very good app. And you have to, re you have to realize that if you are not paying for the, for the product, then your data will be the price, will be the cost of, the, of you having that service. So if you, want, if you really want to have a huge amount of data uploaded to the cloud, you have to pay for that. Because there is a good saying that there is no cloud, it's only other people's computers. So when you are uploading your content to the cloud, 
you're really uploading it to other people's computers and they're holding your data and they can do with that whatever they want because there is such limited and vague protections, if any, about that about what they can, what they can do with it because you are submitting yourself, you are surrendering your own data to them. So they are in control. And you and if you, if you fail to realize that this is a problem, then you're going to be facing privacy and security issues like this in the future. This is not something that should have happen, happened at all. I'm not talking about like when Google gets hacked by Chinese hackers, like that's difficult to, to defend against. And if they got hacked, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blame them because these state sponsored adversaries have endless amount of money that can pour into. They can bribe your own employees to compromise the physical security of your infrastructure and get data that way if they can't compromise you on the technical level. This is not the issue with with Chinese hackers or state sponsored adversaries. This is the issue at Google seriously screwing up their security systems and not even trying to face repercussions that are coming from this. Google should be investigated and it should be heavily, heavily fined. Every single victim or, or, or affected user of, of their services should be compensated even before they can prove that the, any damage has happened to them as a result of this breach. Because right now the, the, the law is that if you suffer a data breach, you are not going to get any comp compensation at all unless you can prove that you have already suffered any damage from it. So if you if you had your um, identity doc documentation leaked, you're not going to get compensation unless someone, some other hacker somewhere in the world uses the data to, to impersonate you and directly causes you some financial or, or other harm. And unless, but when, when that happens, that's pretty much already too, al already too late. I want to recommend you another good service to sync your files between your your devices, between your computer and, and your phone, and uh, even have like like an on the go cloud service that is not really cloud service, but you can just like have your data there and you can access them from anywhere, uh, provided that you are syncing them regularly. And that service is called SyncThing. I'm I'm gonna leave all the links in the description below. And I'm gonna leave them in the comments or wherever. You can also check out my my subreddit, uh, reddit.com forward slash r forward slash the hate one, and um, you can have more information there. You can ask people if something something happened to you. You can ask them. They will give you an advice what to do if you get hacked or or if your data were compromised. Another g good um, subreddit for security related issues is r security. And a good privacy-related subreddit would be uh, rprivacytools.io. I wouldn't go to rprivacy because the advice, it's a huge subreddit, but the advice there is not really top-notch. There are a lot of people who are giving advice, but they shouldn't really be because they are not, they're not giving good advice. It's not a correct advice. Definitely check if you have been compromised. Definitely check your emails from Google if you received any notification about this. It could be. Google should be pressured. Stuff like this should not be happening. Like if 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 the law is not isn't isn't is not upholding the standards, then you as a user have the duty to uphold the standards to the company. If they are not doing it, then stop using them because you are going to be a victim of a serious breach and a serious like can you imagine how much data Google has on you? Like they know everything. Like we have all these backlash and 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 scandals with with Facebook, how how much they leak your data and how much their security sucks and how much they they are a privacy nightmare, but they're like a tenth of what Google is. Google is the worst privacy nightmare in the world, probably competing with Microsoft. But Google has the Android operating system and and many services that people use even on, on um, iPhones and other operating systems with Google Maps, and um, uh, what else? What else people use? Google Photos, the Google Assistant, many of these uh, Google Search, many of these features that people use are following you everywhere. It, even even on an iPhone, whatever whatever device device you use, if you are trusting Google, you are surrendering everything to them, and there is no law that will, that will protect you sufficiently against this. So this is a serious security and privacy issue. You should not wait until it, it gets worse. You really shouldn't. You should protect yourself because if you if you if you imagine if, if if a more serious breach with more data on users, not just their photos, but even these these contacts and all all the location information that they have on people and all the uh, financial inf financial information that they have on people because people are using Google Pay or they're using Google or they're using their phones to pay for things, so that will be that will be catastrophic. So you should really get out of this, of this ecosystem, even if it's Apple or, or, or Google, 
Ecosystems are bad for your security and privacy. You should diversify, you should decentralize, you should compartmentalize, as I call it, so that no single provider has access to all of your data. Because a breach will happen no matter what, and you have to be prepared. And if a, if a breach happens, happens with your Apple account or Google account, then they have access to everything. But if you compartmentalize it, if you have uh, one service that is for your, your personal identity, then you have like like with your that you have that you use with your friends and family then you have your professional identity that you use for work then another company will take care of that then you have your i don't know just like health records that you want to keep private from everybody then you don't want to trust neither of these right so you compartmentalize your data i have privacy tutorials for that and i have security tutorials and I'm constantly updating these, these, and I'm, I'm in the process of working on new privacy tutorials that are updated for 2020. So definitely check those out and stay vigilant about your privacy and security because no one else will. So thank you very much for watching. Please donate to my Patreon page uh, if you want to keep this channel alive. Google really doesn't like this, the, the content like this. So there's definitely some kind of suppression going on. So please feel free to support the channel. And as my as the as the expression of my gratitude, as as long as I can do it, I'll be releasing two videos per week. If you donate ten dollars per month, and if you donate five, then it's one video per week every Wednesday, where I talk about you know security and privacy related news and issues, breaking news that happen, and I'll give you my my coverage on that. Sometimes I'll talk about a political issue, whatever is important. So thank you very much for watching and stay free.